Hello everyone and welcome back to Warrior Cats, The Untold Tales. And we are here with Apple Star of Apple Clan, getting ready for a very busy day of taking care of our little clan that we have hiding down here at the edge of Thunder Clan territory. As you guys know, poor Apple Star has really been struggling to get over the deaths of his deputy and several of our other clan cats, but his adorable daughter Acorn Paw has really been proving to be a very very sweet young kit. Uh, I should say a sweet young apprentice. So she is going to be a warrior in just seven more days. On the 8th of Greenleaf, Acorn Paw is going to turn into a warrior. And after her following her father around and really taking good care of him and trying to make sure he doesn't get too depressed and like chasing his tail when he least expect it, a lot of you guys are totally in love with her and think that her name should be Acorn Heart. So let me know what you guys think about that. I think that would make a really pretty name for her. But today we are going to be working on taking good care of the clan by making sure there is enough food to feed everybody and then also making sure that we have enough herbs in the medicine cat's den that they can do the important work they do. We also need to expand our territory by collecting up some of our apples and scattering the apples in the areas we want to say we control and every area that has three apples means that it is apple clan territory and we can do our hunting in it. As you can see we currently have no apples in our usual hunting spot because Thunder Clan came along and took all of them. So that means we have lost control of this territory and we need to tidy that up ASAP. And then the other thing that I really wanted to start focusing on more is expanding this camp, like expanding the cats who live here and adding even more rogues into our clan and turning them into Apple Clan cats. And to do that, we have to have enough food to justify inviting new cats into the clan. So I have come up with a new rule. Every day that we end up having, um, Every day that we, we end up having Apple Star run around, he of course has to eat so that his hunger is high up there. And then I think we need to get rid of one piece of prey for every kit or apprentice that we have in our clan. So that will be our daily food consumption, enough to keep Apple Star healthy, and then one piece of food for each kit or apprentice in the clan. And I think that'll help us balance out like saying that the cats can have kits or trying to invite in a new person. Uh, you can only put down prey on the moss patches next to brambles to try to attract a rogue if you have excess food after all. And then in the prey pile at the end of every day, our goal is to make sure there's at least one piece of food for every single cat in the clan to kind of balance everything out. It'll make a lot of sense when you see me actually work with the, uh, counting the food and sorting it in just a second. So first things we need to do is feed Apple Star. So let's go ahead and feed him. I think a frog is only worth one, so a frog and a thrush will fill him up. And then we are going to feed the kits and we're going to do that by coming over to our beautiful mate, Dark Lily, formerly of River Clan, leaving her home clan in order to come and form this clan with us. And we're going to give her three pieces of food so that she can feed the three kits that we've had with her. And she says, I love you, Apple Star, which is so wonderful. And we're going to go ahead and give her a couple of the frogs, which I think she really enjoys. I think she has a taste for frogs having grown up in River Clan. And we're going to give her one thrush, and that is going to count for all of our kit's food. Let's also talk to Silver. Roar! I want to go hunting today, Dad. Oh, that's so cute, Silver. I love you. You're just adorable. And then we have two other apprentices. We have little Snowpaw, the itty-bitty little kit that we have taken in. He was a lost young kit, and Daffodil uh, has taken him under her paw, and she's kind of like mentor slash mother to him. So she really enjoys taking care of him. And then we have Leafpaw, who is our medicine cat Blackbird's apprentice, and he is actually ready for Leafpaw's quest. We need to go on two more out of the three quests that he needs to do to prove himself worthy of becoming a medicine cat. And we're going to do that after we make sure that the clan has enough food because there's enough to keep Apple Star very, very busy. Marking territory and getting enough prey items is unfortunately more important than poor little Leaf Paw getting a chance to prove himself as an adult now. So we got to work on those things first. So we're going to go ahead and give Dark Lily two more pieces of food. I'm actually going to grab this mouse. And that is going to count for all of the food that all of the kits and apprentices needed to use in our entire camp. And then whatever food we have left, three dead thrush. Well, there's, let's see, one, two, three cats over here. One, two, three. Then that takes care of some of our cats. And then we have stone, apple star, golden fern. That's three more, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we need to have eleven pieces of food 
by the end of the day to say that we have enough enough prey to take care of such a large clan. If we get 12 pieces of food, I can put one down for the night and then we can go ahead and see if we can get a new member of the clan coming on in. But let's go ahead and I want them to follow. We're gonna have Golden Fern and Stone come out and go hunting with us today, I think. I don't wanna take too many of the other cats. Oh yeah, and I need to mark our territory. So we leave behind three apples anywhere we're going to call Apple Clan territory. And I'm gonna drop the three apples right here and pick up the stone. It's really stone. <laughs> he walked on a piece, he walked on the stick before we even started hunting. There's a fish down there. <gasps> a squirrel, yes, get it. Oh, Apple Star, why, didn't, why couldn't you get it? <laughs> Dang it. Oh, everybody's just walking on sticks over here. That's not gonna help us eat, guys. We have a lot of prey we have to collect. And I think we'll say that we uh, will make the end of the day, the end of the episode versus like, oh, there's a mouse. Oh, there's a dog. Oh boy, run, stone. There's been a dog invading this area quite often lately. That's, no, no, ThunderClan, get out of here. Get out of here, ThunderClan. Where are you? We're not messing with this. Who's fighting? Who's fighting? I can't see. Who's, who's, who's taking the damage? I can't see where the, are my cats okay? Stone, golden fern, jeez louise. And all we have is this paltry little mouse to show for our hunting efforts. This is, this is awful. We need more food. We need to have at least 11 pieces of food. But being a wild cat and especially the leader of a clan is supposed to be really, really, really difficult. So this will be okay. Hang in there, guys. I know it seems like a lot of challenges out of thin air, but it'll make sense in a little bit. All right, so we ended up getting a couple of our, our like friends injured. So we need to heal them. Okay, so that's five pieces of prey. We need a few more. We need at least six more before the end of the episode or else we might have to roll to see if somebody gets sick. And the kits and apprentices and elders, which we don't really have any elders yet, the kits and apprentices are always more likely to get sick. And then finally, we need to get rid of some of the herbs. If I'm going to be healing stone and golden fern, every time I use this special healing thing, we come up to our medicine cat for that and we hit the heal, yay! And then we go ahead and we give Dark Lily the herb so that we can just clear it from our inventory. And let's come over here, come on you two. And then we have to use up another herb. So if we heal them again, then come down, give it to Dark. No, Silver, you can't go hunting right now. There's dogs about. And let's see, there's some herbs down here so we can give them a couple more quick heals because they won't really heal up unless we help them and then time goes by, so that's one heal. Gosh, this is getting pretty tricky for this little group. And then we'll give them one more heal. And so every time we heal the other cats in our clan, we have to use, um, we have to use the herbs from our medicine cat stock. All right, so it looks like Golden Fern is just not, or Stone, maybe Stone is close to being an elder. What do you guys think? Because he's just not recovering this time around. All right, and we're gonna call the end of the day when I have to have like 11 pieces of prey for the whole clan, the end of the episode for now maybe? Because it's kind of hard to feed everybody and go through everything because now it's a new day. Hmm. See, because now it's a new day and I feel like I really should give pieces of prey for each kit to make it a little bit harder, but that would use up all of my prey and then I would have no prey. Okay guys, maybe I should drop the kit thing. What do you guys think? Just feed Apple Star and focus on having enough prey to take care of ourselves so we're not hungry at the end of the day. But that doesn't really give you a good challenge. So you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Don't panic, I promise it'll work out. All right, so let's try this again. We've got a lot of important hunting to do. All right, Dark, I'm gonna go ahead and give you some stuff. So that's going to be, I think we'll call birds two pieces of prey, just like rabbits and squirrels are two pieces of prey. Um, cause I think birds fill you up more than some of the others. So in fact, we'll, we'll call it however many pieces it fills you up. That's how much the prey will be worth per cat. Cause cats can share things. That's something you guys have been requesting that I do for a while now. So dead mice. Oh my gosh. No, you don't. You can't come up. Did you just come over here? Blackbird, blackbird. I know that you are really kind hearted, but you can't just heal the ThunderClan cats when they walk over. It looked just like Blackbird healed a cat that came up to the bushes. We'll have to like gently talk to her about that. She might be stubborn about it though. So all right, never mind on like counting each piece of individual food. We'll have to remember how the value of each pile of food. So don't panic, I'll get there. All right, so I already gave her a couple birds. All right, so that'll be two, three. There we go, that should cover it. 
And then I have some, I have a dead thrush to eat. All right, so I made a mess of the math. Don't mind me. We're, we'll figure that part out. And then I'm gonna come over here with the rocks. That's so cool. And let's see if I can drop some moss onto it. So mostly we're like tending to things around camp today, it seems, and I need to do some more hunting. I just wanted to snag a bit of moss before that. Bah. All right, let's grab three apples. Stone is still injured, so let's go ahead and grab stone. And we'll grab one of the herbs. Now I really need to get a lot more herbs. We'll grab one of the herbs, come up to Blackbird. There, that should help stone out. And give Dark the herb so we get rid of it from our inventory. And then I think we'll go ahead and grab Snowpaw, Itty Bitty Snowpaw, Daffodil, and Rain Pelt. Let's go with Sky Cloud. I think Sky Cloud would be very protective of the little kit because Sky, unfortunately, Sky Cloud did lose her own kit too, which is so sad. He ended up getting killed uh, from a raid and that another clan brought to us. All right, let's keep moving. Okay, we can hunt in this area. Forgot about that because we already put our three apples down. Yes, we got a whole frog, a whole big fat frog. And we'll walk across this little grave of memories. And then this area is actually a pretty safe zone. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody show up. So this might be some of the safest hunting we can do. Which at this rate, we just need some safe hunting because we get attacked just for sticking our, our whiskers into any other territory all the time lately. All right, good, we're doing a lot better. And we'll have to see if little Snowpaw is able to do a bit of hunting on his own so that he can bring something home for the clan. Let's see, anything over here? Oh, and are you guys excited about Cattails coming out? It's gonna be quite a while. I think it's not gonna come out until like the end of the year, but Cattails is going to be a game made by the same guy who made this, who made Untold Tales, and it's gonna be another cat-based game. So I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. I'm really excited for when we get to start seeing the first snippets of it. So you can be sure I'll be all over that. You can check my channel and, and be sure I'm going to be having lots and lots of news whenever I find out more about that. All right, we got another mouse. Okay, so what do we have so far? I need 11 pieces of prey, I think. Okay, we gotta figure out how much each piece of prey is worth in food. And then I'll figure out a way to sort things. So we'll probably have piles that are like, this piece of food, this pile is worth one food. This pile is worth three food. We'll get there. All right, and then the mouse. All right. That should help us out. Did I get a ton? Okay, we can get one more mouse. Oh, somebody killed a mouse. I'm so proud of you guys. I didn't even get to see who it was. Good job, everybody. You're gonna keep the clan alive after all. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of hunting this way. But yeah, sorry we're just kind of like running around today. I gave myself that little challenge. Oh, and there's so many apples. The clan is healthy. I can spread these apples. Here, I'm gonna drop this and grab a couple apples. All right, hang in there, ladies. And hopefully, whoa, there's so much food there. Did you see how much food was over there? All right, I'm gonna drop these two apples and when we get up to three apples, and I didn't mean food, there's a ton of herbs over here. Jeez, all right, goldenrod here, goldenrod there, goldenrod over here. Wow, there's a ton of them. I wonder why there's so much goldenrod on the ground over there. Well, let's go ahead and get home. Oh my gosh, Apple Star, are you stuck behind? He was stuck behind a tree. And then we'll wiggle this way. Return everybody into camp. And I didn't notice Apple Star was actually getting so hungry. We'll drop the golden rod. So now we have a little bit more golden rod to Hillstone. And we will figure this out. I will get to the point where we're really comfy with our challenges and I can share the details with you guys a little bit smoother than I did. I'm actually writing things down now. All right, so we have six mice, <laughs> six mice, and we have a dead thrush. Dead thrush is, let's see how much food it is worth. And it is worth two food. So the birds will be worth two food. The mice are worth one food. And I do wanna feed the kits every day, I think. I think at the very least, giving up more food to represent that the kits are really hungry and growing or that we have elders, that makes a lot of sense to me. All right, but don't worry, we'll figure it out. For, for today, I'm just really grateful <laughs> that the cats are doing okay. There we go. So we've got a little bit of food. Snowpaw's okay, Daffodil's okay. We're tidying up camp. I'm gonna send Apple Star out with Golden Fern. I'm gonna let these two try to expand the territory in a couple spots so we can do a little bit more hunting. The one spot we were working in and then the other spot too. So one spot over here. Let's drop this. And now we have declared this as Apple Clan territory. And I think we can run from fights unless it's in our territory. 
So that may help us out with not getting injured and not getting killed so often, unless we have a blood feud with somebody. And I think Acorn Paw has calmed her dad down enough that we don't really have a blood feud going on, even though, like, left to his own devices, Apple Star probably would have, like, a permanent blood feud with Thunder Clan, especially after what they've done, not only to him, but his, his mother, and then what they've done to his clanmates. It's quite tragic. There we go. Some more mice. Not a lot of food. I wonder if we should go look for squirrels or something in a better location. But yeah, I think we can run from fights unless they're in our territory. And if they are in our territory, that's the only spot we can hunt. And that would be the only spot that we would be able to, uh, that we have to stand our ground and fight. All right, there we go. There, all right, we've got a big old pile of mice. <laughs> And a big old pile of Siri can't really do math and not while I'm talking and walking and fighting at least. And we will get there. I think next time I will have a better idea of how to explain the food situation. I do think it's only fair to keep an eye on the food situation so that it really helps control the size of our clan and if the cats risk getting sick and things like that uh, or if we have to start invading other territories. And then we will be working on Leaf Paw's journey coming up pretty soon. So if if you guys have some cool ideas in mind for names for Leaf Paw, then, uh, you know, I'm reaching his, his, I would say warrior name, but you know, it's just his, his adult name. Uh, I guess technically it's warrior name, even though he's a medicine cat. So if you guys have ideas for that, then do let me know. We'll be tidying up camp, cleaning it up, and figuring out how to run our wonderful Apple Clan more next time. And for now, I'm just going to be glad that Apple Star has not lost one of his three lives, and we'll have to see how else he can change his clan and change the the entire world with the things that he leaves behind before it is time for his legacy to fade and one of his children, possibly Acorn Paw, to pick it up from there. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!